Hi guys, and welcome to another Motor Monday with me, Talvatron. Today we're in another diesel, but this time it's the Vauxhall Astra 1.9 CDTI, 150 brake. Yeah, hi guys, um, today we're reviewing the 150 brake diesel 1.9 Astra. Um, the model that I'm in at the minute is the XP pack, the five doors the XP pack, the SRI model. Um, first impressions, <laughs> as hatchbacks go, it does look nice. I mean, it's not, it's not VXR kind of flared up, it's really garish, but to say it's a 1.9 diesel, it's got it's got the nice side sill, it's got a nice little spoiler on top of the boots, it's the five door model. Um, so yeah, the, the top look of the boot, where the roof is, there's a spoiler on there. Um, it's got the SRI wheels, and um, the car looks really, really hot. Um, so first impressions of this thing is really good. Um, I'm a bit of a Vauxhall fan, I must say. Um, my first car was a Vauxhall, my second car was a Vauxhall. Um, so, you know, I am partial to a Vauxhall. Um, and this thing is just, at the minute, I might be a little bit biased, but Actually, you know what, I'm not being biased. The car's really good. Um, you know, as Astra's go, they're not the most expensive cars. Um, there, there is an old rule, you can fix anything on a box or with a 17mm uh, spanner and up. So, you know, nice, reliable cars. Well, not reliable, but, you know, easy to fix when they go wrong. Plenty of parts. Um, not saying they will. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, please. Um, yeah, this thing is really nice. Its uh, interior is one of the Astra. Um, it's got the green lights. Are oh, they green? I'm full of lights. Like, me. There's lights. There is lights, yeah, um, where the radio is and the back of the clocks. Um, the same sort of silvery dash with the silvery bits of trim here and there. And, you know, everything's very really same, same as all the other Astras. Uh, it's, not, it's not ugly, uh, but, you know, it's been nice for him to on the XP pack, I suppose, but it's more outside, but it's, it's, it's toned up, not so much on the inside. Um, seats are quite comfortable, um, which is surprising really, because they are slightly bucketed, and um, you know, normally they can be quite hard, but um, these are quite nice. Um, impressive. You'll have to forgive me if you can hear a ridiculous amount of rain, it's an awful day today. Really, it's really horrible. So, as you can see, I'm on the ground in grass, um, and you can probably hear rain bounce off the which speed of the speed. It's not good. Um, so, you'll have to forgive me for that. I'm trying to shake so you can hear me, but uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, the yeah, interior of the car is great, it really is. I prefer, gotta be honest, I prefer the look of these five door models compared to the two door. Um, don't hate me for it, I just do. I think the five doors look really smart. The two doors look a bit too, I don't know, too small. Not, not big enough. Um, so yeah, the five door for me is the best shape to get this after it. Um, so, mark five shape, this shape, so it's in my idea. I will put some pictures of it when I normally do, so. But yeah, um, first impression of this car is comfortable. Seating position is good. Uh, visibility, uh, mirrors are quite small, um, but then again I think they were any bigger than small the look of the car, um, but I probably would make them bigger. Visibility out the back, big rear windscreen, uh, which is good, you can see a lot, so visibility is good as well. Um, all in all, it's just, it's a nice car. First impression, very, very good. and you know, you get more GT TDIs, you know, the Lion FR TDIs, 
and they're all 170 right. Um, Astra, the Astra truck has come in and has gone right, here's 150 right. Um, the car's not the heaviest anyway, but the way it puts that 150 right down is ridiculous. You find yourself having to change gears quickly because the car's just picking up off the joint motorway and coming down the skid road. I was in the gear point, but uh, it's, it's a ridiculously trivial little diesel. Um, and for the price you pay, it sort of picks BW to the post on that really. Um, because it's a lot cheaper than a Golf, it's cheaper to insure than a Golf, um, but it's not a Golf, as the adverts say. Um, Interior-wise, it's just a bit cheap, there's no sort of extra, added extras that you might want in a car um, that the Golf supplies. Um, it's a six-speed box, which is nice, it's on the motorway now, and the revs are low, so, you know, you can't hear the engine struggling. Um, Road noise is again, it's quite loud in here. Um, but I suppose I'll put that the radio on like a normal one. Uh, so that's, it's, you know, it's probably fits with a bit of background noise. Um, but yeah, the, the car itself is, like I say, you know, you'll pay for one of these. You're getting a very fast diesel. Um, again, there's, I think I've got 18 litres, and it's just under half a tank. And it registered that I have 238 miles in range. I mean, that's fantastic, really. That's why I love diesel because you get the torque and power, and you get the fuel economy as well. Um, I've been doing a lot of diesels lately, um, so hopefully I'll get a petrol one for you soon. But yeah, um, the suspension on this car is good as well. It's quite comfortable. It's more comfortable than the Mazda 6 that we would um, which is strange because the Mazda is more expensive, I believe. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot more comfortable than the Mazda, so that's a big thing in this box. Um, I feel like I've enjoyed this for a lot longer. Um, I've got to say the back position as well. I've got, it's, you, you, you know, everything can be the steering wheel up and down, full weight adjustment, forward and backwards. Where in you know, most cars like that Mazda, I think you can only do it up and down. So if, you, if you've got long legs as well, I'm a, I'm a long body, short legs, stumpy legs. Um, so I've got to sit farther away from what my arm is up, but then my legs are too far away from the pedal. So you've got to, you know, you've got to try and have that balance for all the people like me. Um, which, you know, some cars, and unfortunately like the Mazda that we did last week, um, doesn't have. Um, so this is where I am really comfortable. Um, so yeah, the driving car, the engine, like I say, it's let down by the cheapness of it all and, you know, stuff like that. But like I say, you switch on roundabouts, you've got a car with good engine, it's economical, um, and it's a lot cheaper than the BW alternative. So if you don't mind really, when you've got a plastic trip or anything else like that. So, more than all, I don't mind. And it won't be disappointed in the price. Living with the car, um, to be honest, living with this one is quite easy to survive for. Um, keeping a smile on my face when I'm accelerating, um, again, all laws being obeyed. Um, but like when I'm accelerating, you know, I'm doing 60 at the minute, if I need to go around the car, it's probably slower than me. I can put my foot down to 70 and gives you that nice little kind of run as you overtake when you're pulling up on island, joining the road, anything like that. You know, you've got that hope, so daddy will be happy. Mummy and the kids will also be happy because mummy can fit a full load of shopping in the boots and also the bush chairs um, and like I said, all the seats, all also things, um, so families at the times. Um, and there's plenty of room in it. You can get two kids in the back, two cars in the back, no problem. To be fair, if you had three kids, you might be able to get them in the back. I don't know because I don't know how far it's going to work and stuff like that, but you know, I should imagine you could. Um, I don't know, can't get three of that one, I don't know. Um, but either way, family-wise, this car, you won't struggle with it at all. Um, especially if you survive the two-door, you'll have problems with getting into the back of the two-doors. It's quite a feat in itself. It's, um, it's a hard challenge, it really is. Um, especially for someone like myself, again. Um, but no, this car would be perfect. Again, you can see, so it's not going to be um, and then, the 
these things are great as well. So I'd highly recommend this if you're looking for a family car, to be honest. And Astra's, I think the phone has always used to sell the Astra until they bought it for Mark 5. Um, and then I think Astra brought it back. And they were selling more Astra's than they were focuses. Because let's be honest, the phone is using directly from the um, And it's for good reason. This, this Astra looks nice. It's got a good engine and it ticks all the boxes. Like I say, there's little nifty things, but again, no car perfect. Um, and I'm really enjoying the drive. It's, it's so easy to steer, so light on the steering. But it's never so light that you think that you're going to move a millimetre that way and you're going to end up in a bush. Um, there's still that level of lightness there, so you can get a really pointless car. Um, which is good, the brakes are good, the throttle response is good. It's, as an all-round car goes, this thing is really good and I'm really pleased with the engine. The engine is really, <laughs> it, it's what I want because I know the tunes go right there. Um, you can get these things into ridiculous, ridiculously high brake horsepower, just with remaps and doing the blood and such. I think I've seen one of these that's nigh on 200 brake on the remap. Um, I mean, that's, from a diesel, that's stupid. I mean, you're always going to have the torque problem with tuning diesel, but, you know, something like this, it doesn't weigh a lot either. Um, you know, you can have so much fun with these cars. Um, and that's, that's what drawing should be about. It should be about having fun. Um, and the car's safe. It's got airbags everywhere. Um, you know, it's, it's a nice, nice car. Something I forgot to mention earlier when I was reviewing the engine, to be honest with you, with the myself. Um, the car's got a sport button, um, which sharpens everything up and makes it just that little bit more responsive. So, you know, it's, it's great. So when Daddy's on his own and he's, he's having a bit of fun, he can press the sport button and have a few out. Um, I'm really happy with this car and I'll leave it to my verdict with it. Um, would I buy one of these? Yes, I would. I would quite happily go and pay for them, pay the money for one of these. Um, the value of these things are dropping um, because real cars are being made. Um, so you can pick a new one of these and so they not, not really all that much. Um, which to be honest doesn't really bother me because it's not an expensive car. To me I prefer it that way purely because it's going to be cheap for me to run, um, it's cheap for me to buy, it's going to be a cheap all round good car. Um, so for that reason alone, I would buy one. The engine is even inspired. The car is comfortable. All the air conditioning is nice and cool. You know, I, I am road seat, so the air conditioning is on cool. And it's keeping me nice and cool. Um, as, as far as focus is go, I'd have one of these over at least focus any day. Um, it's still not up to golf quality. If someone offered me one of these or a golf, I'd still pick the golf. Um, but that's just my personal preference. Um, this box all is really, really good. Um, I'd encourage you, again, if you're looking for a, an all-round family car, to go and have a look at one of these, because it might just be the perfect thing that you're after. And I can imagine many people this being the perfect thing that you're after. So, on this rainy, horrible day, I will give this Astra Talbotron rating of, and I'm moving into decimal because I realise if I move into more decimal rather than halves, I can I can sort of vary the the ratings a bit more. I am going to give the Vauxhall Astra 1.9 diesel with 150 brake horsepower and the XP pack 8.3 out of 10. Um, like I say, the only reason why I haven't got more is because it's not as golf, it's not to a, the standard of a golf. Um, it's, it doesn't handle as well as a golf, but for the money that you pay and the engine you get, this car is brilliant. It leaves you with it, um, and again, reliability-wise, if it breaks, there's plenty of Vauxhalls out there and plenty of garages out there. You're going to be able to put it back together again, and it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. Um, so I can probably rate this as one of the better family cars you can buy. Um, 
So yeah, if you are a family, and you're looking for a car, I'd highly recommend you check this out. And guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this informative. Um, and all I can say is thank you again, I suppose. I really do hope you enjoyed watching. Take care, guys. See you soon.